Did you know that Kevin Garnett used to bang his head against the wall only to get into the right mindset for big games? As KG and other superstars had demonstrated, being an NBA champion requires a lot of mental toughness. Here we're going to explore how the NBA superstars prepare their minds and mental state prior to the games. We'll learn about their routines, rituals, habits, and strategies that help them perform at the highest level. We'll also discover how they cope with pressure, stress, and the expectations from themselves and others. Whether you're a fan, a player, or a coach, you'll find valuable insights and tips that you can apply to your own life and goals. Let's start with the best shooter of all time. Steph Curry is one of the most talented players in NBA history, but he doesn't rely on talent alone. He has a rigorous pre-game ritual that helps him prepare mentally and physically for every game. He arrives at the arena three hours before tip-off and does a series of warm-up exercises including stretching, foam rolling, resistance band work, and crazy two-ball handling drills. After that, Steph shoots 100 free throws, making sure to hit at least 90 of them. He also practices his signature shots from different angles and distances, such as the corner three, the pull-up jumper, and the half-court heave. After heading back to the locker room, he listens to music on his headphones, usually a mix of hip-hop, gospel, and R&B. He says music helps him relax and focus on his goals. Curry also prays with his teammates and coaches in the locker room. He says his faith is a big part of his life and his game. On the way back to the court, Steph does his famous tunnel shot where he launches a ball from the entrance of the tunnel to the basket. That's cash. You got it. That's cash. Just like that. He says this shot is a fun way to challenge himself and entertain the fans. And just before entering the arena for the game, Chef Curry goes through his special cookbook so he can cook the right recipe for the cooking of his opponents. But do you know what is an odd pregame routine? It's that of Kevin Garnett. This man is a creation of habit and he's done the same thing his entire career. Part of KG's routine included walking to the basket stanchion and placing his head on the padding and eventually ramming his head into the padding. Well, that definitely worked for him. Winning one NBA title, one MVP title, a Defensive Player of the Year award, nine All-NBA team selections, and even more NBA All-Star selections. This list can't go on without honoring the king. LeBron James is also a master of pre-game preparation. He has a set of rituals and routines that he follows before every game to get himself ready to dominate on the court. His most famous one is tossing a cloud of powder into the air at the scorer's table, which is a way of psyching himself up and signaling to his fans and opponents that he's ready to play. The powder is usually a mix of baby powder and talcum powder, which also helps him grip the ball better. LeBron writes chosen one on the floor in chalk, which is a reminder of his nickname and his destiny. He started this ritual in high school and has continued it ever since. He wears wristbands on both arms, two thin black ones on his left wrist, and a thicker white one on his right. LeBron customizes his shoes for each game, adding his personal touches like his initials, jersey number, or team colors. He wears Nike shoes, which he's been endorsing for most of his career. Some of his signature shoes include the LeBron 18 and the LeBron Soldier 14. He's always looking for ways to improve his game and his mindset, which is why he's one of the greatest and most serious players of all time. But hey, why so serious? Did you know how stressed out Nikola Jokic, aka Joker, was during the NBA draft day of 2014? The two-time NBA MVP was a second round draft pick in the 2014 draft. And when his name was called for selection, ESPN went to break and he was drafted during a Taco Bell commercial. But the funniest thing is he didn't even watch it. Joker was sleeping at home. Jokic likes to arrive early at the arena. He starts with some stretching and warm-up exercises, followed by some shooting drills with his teammates. He focuses on form and accuracy, making sure he feels comfortable with his shot. He also practices some post moves and passes, honing his skills as a versatile big man. After the warm-up, Jokic heads to the locker room where he puts on his headphones and listens to music. 
He likes to listen to different genres depending on his mood and there's a lot of Serbian music that he likes. Jokic also visualizes the game in his mind, imagining how he will play against his opponent and what he will do in different situations. And then he joins his teammates for a pre-game meeting where they go over the game plan in the scouting report. He says he likes to have fun with his teammates and joke around a bit. He also greets some fans just before the game, but he seriously needs to be careful about that because he was once injured off the court, suffering a wrist inflammation from signing too many autographs. Now to another MVP caliber superstar. Celtics Jason Tatum is one of the most exciting players in the NBA, and he has a unique pregame preparation that helps him perform at his best. But Tatum's pregame preparation is not only physical, it's also mental. He has a ritual of writing down his goals and affirmations on a piece of paper and reading them out loud before every game. He says this helps him focus on what he wants to achieve and reminds him of his strengths and abilities. He also visualizes himself making shots, playing defense, and celebrating with his teammates. He believes that his mental preparation gives him an edge over his opponents and boosts his confidence and self-esteem. Speaking of the importance of visualization, how would you visualize the current best scorer in the league? Kevin Durant is one of the best and when it comes to attention to detail, he knows the importance of game preparation. Katie watches films of his opponents and studies their tendencies and weaknesses. He also meditates to calm his nerves and focus his mind. And straight after that, he chats with his teammates and coaches to build chemistry and confidence. By following these steps, Kevin Durant prepares himself physically, mentally, and emotionally for the game. He's always ready to give his best and lead his team to victory. We mentioned several MVPs till now, but what about the reigning MVP? Joel Embiid has been the scoring leader for the past couple of years, and he's the reigning NBA MVP. His African heritage influences his mental preparation and makes him different from others. That's why he has a strict routine of rituals and habits that he follows before each game. After the workout, he takes a shower and gets dressed in his game attire. He always wears the same socks, shoes, and wristbands that he believes bring him luck. He also wears a necklace with a pendant of his late brother Arthur, who passed away in 2014. Embiid says that his brother is his guardian angel and inspiration. Before leaving for the arena, he checks his phone and reads some messages from family and friends. He also posts a tweet or an Instagram story to interact with his fans and show them some love and appreciation. At the arena, he meets his teammates and coaches for a pre-game meeting. He also gives some pep talks and encouragement to his fellow players, especially the younger ones. He knows that by following his rituals and routines, he can get into the right mindset to perform at his best and probably win a few more MVPs. Now let's go back to one of the legends and his strange routine. Bill Walton was one of the greatest basketball players of all time, but he also had a secret ritual that few people know about. Before every game, he would go to the locker room and vomit. He said it was his way of releasing the nervous energy and anxiety that built up inside him. He also believed that it gave him an edge over his opponents who might not be as prepared or motivated as he was. Walton's vomiting habit started when he was a teenager playing for UCLA. He had a severe stutter that made him self-conscious and shy. He also suffered from chronic pain and injuries that threatened his career. He felt tremendous pressure to perform and live up to the expectations of his coach, John Wooden, and the fans. He said he vomited before every game because he cared so much about winning and playing well. Walt never stopped vomiting before games, even after he retired from playing. He became a broadcaster and analyst covering NBA games for various networks. He said he felt the same excitement and nervousness as he did when he was a player. He said he loved the game so much that he wanted to give his best every time he spoke about it. Walton's vomiting ritual may seem strange or disgusting to some people, but it was his way of coping with the challenges and pressures of being a professional athlete and a public figure. He said it was not something he enjoyed or was proud of, but it was part of who he was. He said it helped him focus and channel his energy into something positive and productive. He said it made him feel alive and ready for anything. The NBA superstars are not only gifted athletes, but also masters of their own minds. They prepare themselves mentally before every game, using various techniques such as visualization, meditation, 
affirmations, and positive self-talk. They also cope with stress, pressure, and challenges by focusing on their goals, trusting their abilities, and embracing the moment. By doing so, they enhance their performance, confidence, and enjoyment of the game. They are an inspiration for anyone who wants to achieve their dreams and overcome their fears.